Today we honor the men and women who have served and continue to serve our country. Today is Veterans Day. The St. Charles native Matthew Sims dedicated more than two decades of his life to protecting our freedoms. He nearly lost his own life three times while trying to save others. Now he's taking us all onto the battlefield in a new book. There is no hiding his love for America. That Jeep gets me more honks and waves and questions. Matthew Sims has plenty of answers because just like every veteran, he has a story to tell. I have been told by friends uh, for years that I needed to write a book. He did. My wife um, didn't even know some of these stories. In his book, Why My Heart is Purple, the St. Charles High School grad gives an emotional firsthand look at war. The sights, the sounds, the smells, the tastes. Pages reliving his moments as an army medic 15 years ago. Always worried about if you're gonna come home. Painful moments that led to three Purple Hearts. All my injuries uh, happened uh, in one torn Iraq. This is what remains of the helmet he wore when it was struck by gunfire. The force was like getting hit in the head with a sledgehammer. Yet he did not come home. You know, I asked to stay in Iraq. He returned to the battlefield, where weeks later, this is what became of a protective vest he was wearing, shredded when a bomb went off under his vehicle. The shrapnel went through the vehicle, through my vest, and into my right lung. Sims continued with his tour of duty, only to be hit by shrapnel again. But after I got back after the third injury, they told me, you've done your part. He's the first to admit it, he's lucky. Any one of those injuries could have easily killed me. He put himself in harm's way to protect our freedoms. It's not free. The price that you pay is injuries and the pain for the rest of your life if you do come home. After 22 years of service, he is home, grateful for what the Army did for him. Taught me what was important in life. Grateful for what he was able to do for his country. The first thing I say when someone thanks me for my service is I say, well, thank you for being an American worth dying for or worth fighting for. Thank you, Matthew Sims. All morning we've been asking you to share your photos of veterans in your life. And here are just a few of the pictures that we have received this morning. We are so happy and proud to be able to display this, these photos and at the same time say thank you. I am being told that we have over a hundred that have come in so far. Please keep them coming in. As you can see, we have people from every branch of the military. Thank you, thank you, thank you for what you've done. Barbie. And it's incredible too, running to see young and old. Some of those pictures, black and white, I'm sure of veterans who have passed in your life, but we want to honor all of them. So yes, continue to send them in. We will take as many as we can get.